area, an excellent opportunity to explore the intricacies of maritime law. <laughs> Not today, Chase. We're just here to escort a shipment from the government over to Doc's lab. La ah! Lab. Score, bro. New tech for the taking. How about a little sound wave distraction? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on, Mr. Buddy! Cease and desist your larceny! seem to be experiencing fluid leakage. Nothing to worry about. I've just caught a little bug. <sighs> Shall I roll down my window so you may release it? That cop car's running a little sluggish. Bet it needs oil. Nice drive. I do not understand, Chief. Perhaps if you could say it and not spray it. Tech thievery, 
juvenile pranks. Looks like our old friends Evan and Miles are back on Griffin Rock. We better... <laughs> Get me home. Dad's sick with the flu. No rescues for him for a while. Ooh, there is an upside. With Dad out of commission, the next oldest Burns, namely me, assumes command. Great. I second Cody's sarcasm. What does it mean to be sick with the flu? I got sick the first time I flew. Perhaps this handbook on human illness will enlighten us. Flu symptoms include exhaustion, fever, and a running nose. <laughs> a running nose? They can't even walk. Can they? In other words, a sick human is less productive. On the contrary, Chief was quite productive of a substance known as mucus. I collected a sample if you would like to see. Ew, human. No thanks, Chief. What's wrong with you? I'll take a look. Attention, team. Got our first emergency with me in charge. Ruptured gas line downtown. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Huh? I wanted to say that. Hi, Kate. I figured since Dad's out sick, I could ride with Chase. That way you'll have a full team and... <laughs> Sorry, Squirt. But to ride on this rescue, you need to be this tall. Oh, too slow. Just because I'm not big doesn't mean I can't help. Actually, it does. A rescue like this takes size and strength. i tell you what, we'll arm wrestle for it. Deal. Why are we wasting time with games? We have an emergency. Two seconds, Heat. Ready? Set. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh, he's getting me. Oh, hi. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> you lose. Listen up, heat wave, you... Put out those fires, good. Chase, set up barricades. As per standard procedure. Graham and Boulder, you're on gas main repair. Kate, you don't have to try to be dad. We know what we're doing. If that was true, you'd know I want a two mile perimeter clear pedestrians right now. Copy that, Captain Cranky Pants. <laughs> Cranky Pants, good one. <laughs> Gas fire. You need I to. I know. Power up and energize. So, what's your assignment? Duh. I'm the leader. Cody, you're just in time to help us assemble the stasis machine. Or attempt to. Chief informed me that thieves absconded with part of the shipment. What's a stasis machine do? If it works right, nothing. Precisely. Stasis is the absence of activity. This device is designed to freeze an object in time and space. Like the pause button on a DVR. In a manner of speaking, think of the stasis machine as a molecular refrigerator. Aging stops for objects exposed to its ray. Imagine the possibilities. With this technology, bananas could stay ripe for years and years. And someday, through the science of stasis, humans might no longer grow old. An extended lifetime of eating ancient bananas? Yum. There does seem to be a part missing. The remote is powered up. <laughs> ah! <coughs> Cody, you all right? <coughs> yeah, fine. I'm not so sure about that. Whoa, that machine shrunk you guys. On the contrary. You, uh, might want to... Fascinating. Weird. Noble. Uh, Dad? That's not stasis. Quite right. It's only half of stasis. This machine appears to have two parts. One that ages and one that reverses aging. When complete, these two forces balance each other, creating stasis. So this is what I'll look like someday. How old do you think I am now, Doc? 
25, 30? And how tall? Like six feet? Ow! Closer to six, too. What do you think of my stash? Looks like a moldy caterpillar. Dad, you have to change him back. Would that I could, my young Tesla. I suspect the stolen piece of this machine could reverse Cody's uh, growth spurt. So, as long as the tech's missing, Cody's stuck like that? Is this awesome or what? Perhaps not. If I could invert the polarity. Ah, no hurry. Yes, hurry. Oh, I can't wait for Kate to see me now. Being bigger rules. Oh. <laughs> Gravity has a few rules of its own. This thing's for kids anyhow. See ya. Alt, interloper. <laughs> Relax, Chase. It's me, Cody. Identification confirmed. However, your appearance and tonal transmissions have changed drastically. Not to mention my bedtime. Cody, what happened? You have a lip warmer like Chief. I believe it is called a sneeze guard, or in some jargons, a crumb catcher. Was that inside your nose the whole time? Forget the mustache, guys. Look at me. Bigger, stronger, I've turned into an adult. Yeah, transform into a truck, then we'll talk. Come on. Haven't you bots ever wished you were taller? I have enough difficulty with low overpasses as it is. Cody, when you're our size, a few extra human feet doesn't make much of a difference. It's more than height. Now I'm an official grown-up. Wait, does this mean no more lad pioneers? No need. Adults get to have real adventures. Grown-up Cody, this could take some getting used to. Guess who? Cody, grow up. Um, he already did? Yeah, what? Incredible. As long as it's temporary. It is temporary, right? Not sure. What? Hey! This is where you guys have been hiding the leftover Halloween candy? You look older than us. Ha! <laughs> I know. Yeah. Ooh, too slow. Oh, nice. You've gone from Pip Squeak to Pip Freak. I've gone from being smaller than you to being taller than you. Emergency dispatch. We're on our way. A rocket crashed downtown. Just another Saturday in Griffin Rock. Rescue bots, get your tailpipes in gear. We have a situation. I'll ride with Chase. And you can't say I'm not big enough this time. <laughs> that was your rule, Cade. Technically, you could even argue that Cody appears to be the oldest, making him team leader. Tell you what, I'll arm wrestle you for it. Oh, real mature. Chase, is this awesome or what? It is a new experience. Your selection of music is much more dissonant than Chief's. I fail to understand why increased body mass inspires such joy. You don't get it because you've never been small. Being big means you get to do more cool stuff. Such as? Such as beating Kate to a mission. Uh, can I try parking? Certainly. First, check your blind spot. Then... <laughs> took you. That can't be government issue. It's a Mr. Cullen issue. Amateur astronomer. Looks like his latest launch didn't. Those poles are about to give. We need to move the rocket now. There are 200 pounds of fuel in its tank. If we jostle the payload, it could ignite. An unchecked explosion that size could cause a lot of damage. Blades and I can snag the rocket with a grapple and carry it out to the ocean. Problem solved. Good. Danny, you go! No! It's tangled. If you pull on it, the power lines might spark and boom! Well, do you have a better idea? Yes! First we shut off the juice to the lines, then we move the rocket. That's what I would suggest. Okay, Cody, the power switch is located at the top of those poles. Heatwave, may I please use your ladder? Oh, now he's not only taking charge, he's ordering around my bot. More like asking politely. 
You should try it sometime. I'll do it, Cade. I'm not sure you're tall enough to reach. <sighs> you may be a fireman, but I think you just got burned. <laughs> We're ready for you, Blades. No, we are ready. You're going to clear a perimeter and get those looky-loos a safe distance away. But I... You don't like the job. Go home. Oh. All right, everyone, I need you to um, step back for your safety, and you have to listen to me because I'm an adult. Really. I've never seen you in town before. Are you part of the Burns family, too? Haley, it's me, Cole. Uh, Cole, Cade's cousin, yeah, filling in for my debt guy, I mean, chief, while he's out with the flu. Well, it's nice of you to lend Kate a hand. Huh. Ah! Danny, hurry! The rocket's fuel tank is separating from the fuselage. We're losing it! Incoming! Take cover! Ah! Ah! Saved my life. Ew. Haley, are you? I'm fine, thanks to Cole. You never told me about your cousin, Cade. Where have you been hiding him? In much smaller clothes. Can I take you to lunch? I don't need anybody to take me. I can drive. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I know, Annie. Will you excuse us? Go home. You may look all grown up, but you're still just a kid. You don't belong here. You're just mad because you can't push me around anymore. Care to test that theory? <clears throat> I am not certain Chief would condone this course of action. I'm all for power struggles. After we finish the task at hand. Come on, Chase. Kate can handle this without us. I kind of miss the old Cody. The young Cody. Hey, Frankie. You want to hang out? Uh, I can't. I'm still helping Dad. This is Test Banana number 17. I clearly need to recalculate my data. You go, Frankie. Have fun. You're only young once. Uh, so to speak. Yeah. Oh! Denied! Ooh! <laughs> Ah, I'm craving you. That's great. Look, I ought to go back and check on Dad. Thanks for coming over. See you later. Excuse me, shall I join you in your toss the orb through the ring contest? No, you're way bigger than me. Wouldn't be much fun. Hmm. Perhaps that is what Francine was feeling as well. Oh, great. Cade thinks I'm a big kid, and Frankie doesn't want to hang out with a grown-up. I just want to go back to normal. Okay, check it out. We find a way in, nab the rest of that stasis machine, and we're golden. Cops can't catch you if they're frozen in place. Uh-huh. Halt, perpetrators! Seriously? Do you not have a robot donut shop to be at? <laughs> Looks like we found that way in. Ah, <sighs> another Burns kid? How big is that family? Better question. How many friends do they have? Here, Trex, intruders! Come in, rescue team. Chase and I are tailing Evan and Miles. Request backup. Yeah, listen, Cole. I don't care what size you are, you're still a kid. You don't get to request anything. I'm chasing the thieves who have the machine that'll change me back to normal. On our way. Are you 
you familiar with the human known as Miranda? Chase, look out! <laughs> yeah, once we hijack the ferry to the mainland, we're home free. Joy ride's over! Time for a field test. Chill. We'll lose him on foot. Where's Kate? Is he hit? Is it bad? Yes, but somehow very fitting. Go on, say something. You know you want to. I know how you feel, Kate. How am I supposed to explain this to Haley? I thought you said she likes kids. Heatwave, Chase. Go around to the back of the warehouses. Kate and I will flush out Evan and Miles. You sure you want me along? So you lost some height. You still have all your emergency response training, right? Doi. Then you're a part of this team. Here, don't want to hurt your widow head. <clears throat> oh. Cody! Can I borrow some clothes? Here, bro. Maybe you need this more than me. Oh, six foot two has disadvantages. Hope you brought your baby blankie. You're messing with the wrong family, punk. <laughs> <laughs> What's the squirt think he's gonna do? Who are you calling Squirt? <laughs> now! You want this? Dive! No! Jail Cell Express, fellas. Can we dunk them in the ocean first? Blades? Just their feet? <laughs> Look, Code, I... I might act like a jerk to you sometimes, but it's only because... He wants to protect you. And the reason you act like a jerk to me is... Tradition. I should have the stasis machine fully operational within the hour. That's three out of four. <sighs> Fever's broken and I'm finally feeling like myself again. I think I'll go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs>